so let's learn how to open a specific uh, tab uh, accordion or toggle element based on the URL so here if I add the I already have this installed on this page so if I add the uh, either a query at the end of the link and then move back down the page so you can see when I reach here that my uh, my tab elements as the uh, as, as well as the accordion and the toggle they all have uh, the uh, tab uh, to open and accordion and uh, a toggle so and if I add the string bonjour because why not use some French uh, now you can see they all have the their uh, third element open so how to make this the first thing you will need to do is go on my article there will be a link in the description and then get the right code for uh, whichever one that you need so if you want to open uh, a specific tab you will use this code for an accordion this code and then for the toggle you will use this code so you will uh, simply co co uh, copy paste it in your page so I have it here and so now I have uh, all, all three of them that's why it was working for all three of them and let me zoom in so that we can see better so what the code does is it's uh, it's watching for any tab title element and it also works on, uh, for mobile for the uh, tab element uh, because those are different and then uh, it for the accordion element it, it, it's watching for the accordion uh, it, it's not watching but it's finding the accordion titles um, on the page and the same for the toggle element and then if the string if any uh, string is present in the URL it will click on the appropriate title to open that string so how it works is that uh, the first one will automatically click on the first uh, let, let's just uh, use accordion for example to, to simplify uh, my choice of, of word so the first accordion so essentially the first one is useless but it needs to be there uh, because they are automatically linked in the order of appearance so the first string will open the first accordion uh, this string will open this accordion and then this string will open this accordion it, if you add more accordion you would just simply need to add uh, another string so you would write comma this is important the last item should not have a comma but if it's not the last then a comma is uh, required and then you would add a new uh, a new string the string there they can be anything you can replace it with anything uh, it should uh, begin with a uh, interrogation point however otherwise it will uh, bring your users to another page and it won't work so and that's essentially all, all there is to, to this the, the code uh, otherwise it takes care of everything and finally the uh, only thing remaining is on the links that you will want this action on so let's say you are on a page you have uh, you are adding a button that directs back to you to your other page that has the accordion or tab or so on and so forth uh, you, will, you will simply link it as uh, usual but then you will add the string that uh, according to the tab that you want to uh, to be opened 
uh, when you reach the page. So this will open tab or accordion uh, tree. So the only other thing you need to be aware of is if you have more than uh, one accordion on your page and you would like to add uh, this to open a specific accordion, but only for a specific uh, accordion uh, element, then you would go under advanced and give it a class like uh, this only. And then you would come here, here in the code and you would add it uh, right at the uh, for the query selector. So dot this only and then space element or accordion item. So and this is the class that you gave it to uh, make it distinct from any other accordion element you might have on your page. So let's update this. And now let's refresh. And you can see uh, it works. So this is my toggle element. Uh, here is my accordion element, the one that's not distinguished. So the first accordion, accordion is open. And here is the, uh, the, the right ac ac accordion element with the class uh, this only and it opened the right uh, content for, for that one. So that's, that's how it would work. And if you would like to know uh, how I made a few other things on this page, uh, on my demo page, this is just my demo page, I have a good tutorial coming about the light box where we can have a full screen light box that will automatically zoom in uh, to the other flow just, just on moving the mouse. And I have this uh, border uh, tracing tutorial coming in. And this is already available. You can just look at my other videos. Uh, I show you how to make this background, this moving background for your uh, tabs. So I hope you enjoy and let me know if you need any help. Thanks a lot. And if you liked it, uh, consider subscribing. It would really help me out. All right. Bye-bye.